Hello, beautiful souls. I hope that you are doing well, staying safe and healthy. There has been a couple of things that I've been guided to share with you. And it has to be important. Usually the messages that comes through are very important and um, it's something that I just cannot keep to myself because there would be no sense of purpose for me to keep the knowledge to myself, myself and not share that with you because by sharing it will help someone out there through their own journey and just help make a difficult journey a little bit more smoother to go through when there's clarity and understanding it's easier for us to navigate through the difficult journey and my journey has been so amazing and so rewarding but it took a lot of hard work. It really did. It took a lot of hard work, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of tears, a lot of prayers. And at the end of the day, I know that God was just want me to come out and just be the best person that I can be and do the best that I can. God said, I don't have to be perfect, just come as I am. And um, see, God is so amazing with the grace and the unconditional love that God has shown me through my entire life. And it's with that kind of grace and that aptitude of unconditional love that I've experienced, I can share that with you so that it helps you understand your journey better and it'll help you get through a tough time in your life just knowing that there is someone out there who does care, who does love, and who is praying for you. But please always, always use your own discernment and making your own life choices because you are the master of your destiny with God and you are the one that is in control of your life with God. So it is with your free will that God is allowing you to choose the life path that you decide to go on. You see, my journey with God has always been so patient and so kind God would never push me into doing something that I didn't want to do. Um, and this is just one of the things that God wanted me to share was how the channel came about of God's love and light, 1111. So this happened during the time of my spiritual awakening, and it was a very powerful spiritual awakening for me, and it was at the beginning of 2021. Now, of course, I've had awakenings before, but I think this is towards the last of the spiritual awakening that I will be having because I've learned so many lessons. And although 
God continued to spiritually test me to see if um, I'm devoted and loyal to my journey and loyal to the purpose that God had set forth for me. Yes, I've been triggered so many times and I had to always take a moment when I am about to be reactive, I just have to take a deep breath, take a step back and see the bigger picture from a bird eye view perspective. So what God wanted me to uh, share with you is the creation of the channel and just a little background of the channel. When I was going through my spiritual awakening, I didn't realize I was also going through an ascension process. I felt my body just not reacting the same way. It was a difficult um, time for me at that time because I wasn't aware. I did not know what was going on. And um, you know, I just encourage you if you go through any physical pain or, or symptoms that you're not comfortable with, then please seek help. 